What's up guys? Welcome to the new Rockon vlog. Uh, sorry, I should watch in the lens. Uh, yeah, I promised you a new vlog this week, but I don't have an idea what to film today. Yeah, Headlens is there. Let's ask him what could we do today. Dominic, what you doing? I'm looking some new gear. Gear? What's that? It's the new Insta360R. It's a 360 camera. That sounds cool. But dude, I need an idea for the vlog with lots of action, lots of cool shots. But we need to shoot it today, not in if we want that camera, not in like three weeks. But I got this. Check what? it. Oh, what the? What the heck? <laughs> Just a simple editor trick, you know? <laughs> Looks like you're a cousin of David Copperfield, not the editing trick, man. That no, was no. cool, man. <laughs> uh, okay. What is that? So That's an Insta360R, okay. a 360 version, and we cannot miss an action with that. That sounds pretty sick, so I would suggest uh, let's go load up the bikes. Let's go make some test footage. Exactly, let's go. That was a joke guys, <laughs> the guys from Insta360 sent us the 1R camera and they told us to test the hell out of it. So what do they mean with that? So we can uh, yeah. make some cool footage and don't break the camera. <laughs> don't break the camera, not the opposite way. So okay, let's load the bikes and let's see what we can get. So 361R is mounted, yes, on a pretty weird position, but usually the weird positions give us the best footage. If it's the case here, we're gonna see, we're gonna try different positions, different mounts to create some new angles and yeah, to create some interesting uh, footage. I would just say, let's suit up, let's go and let's have some fun. Moto slide mini version. <laughs> okay, guys, that's the road version of the Insta 360 one hour shots. Probably already see it. Uh, we have a feeling, Dominic, how it looks like, right? I think it's gonna be good. Probably epic. We don't have time to check it now on the phone. We need to go quick to the stun spot because it's hot and it, the time is ticking. Let's go, right? Yeah, but first you have to change your gear. Let's change the gear first and then let's pop some wheelies. So doing the time flip effect. Yeah, this is what it's called? Yeah. You told me it's gonna look cool, I hope too. For sure. You ready for the stun bike? Of course, let's do some 360 videos on the stun bike. Let's go.
So you're already watching the footage? Yeah, man, I'm already checking what we did on the foot packs and this footage looks amazing. Um, I'm watching it on the Insta360 app and you know what? I didn't even download it to the phone, so I'm already watching it from the camera and that's super sick. I can even edit it, so from tiny planet mode to super wide angle, wide and so on. And what is really cool, I can also track the action, so I'm always in the shot. So I love this app already, it's really, really cool. Whoa, this footage is just amazing, man. Check it out. The baby survived, man. Guys, only for you, extreme angles for extreme footage. And now it's time to review the camera. Let's go. Guys, this was our first test with the Insta360. What I saw on the phone, the footage looked pretty sick. What do you say, Domi? Of course it looks sick. And the best <laughs> thing is we didn't bring this baby. Yeah, that's true. It was sometimes pretty, pretty close to the, to the ground. To the ground yeah. Especially in the right corners, when I had the mount on the right side, that was super close. Okay, guys, but now it's time that we show you our favorite things on Insta360 ONE R. My favorite feature is actually that the camera is modular, so we have two cameras actually in one package. So we have a 360, one lens here and one lens on the other side. And then we have this wide angle, uh, with a Leica lens and what is really cool with the 360 angle is actually you can't miss a shot right so I can jump around the bike and Whatever to do it's always in the shot and that's a huge I would say lifesaver and especially when head lens tells me in 30 degrees in Super hot weather wherever we are in the world. Okay, uh, rock uh, now we need to shoot again the same thing But we need to change the position of the camera and shoot in the opposite direction and with that camera is I would call it one shot in one go, so everything is covered. So that's, uh, for me, one of my favorite features of the Insta360 One R. Okay, Dominic, what is your favorite feature? So, like you already said, the Insta360R is a modular camera and you can also buy this one inch edition one. Okay, but this is uh, just a name or does it mean something? It has a one inch sensor inside, okay. so that's first of the kind for action sports cameras and that means a really good dynamic range and, and also yeah. for low light it's really a beast for an action camera. Because that's always a problem with uh, with action cameras, In as soon as you have a bad light or or this uh, fake light it's always a problem to get a really nice colors and this sensor helps out to make it better exactly that's it man that's a lot of things in one small camera of course mm -hmm. and you know what i think this camera with this setup would be a really good vlogging type of camera how you mean that you can turn this like this ah, yeah, yeah, and you, yeah. you have a screen here so you can actually see what you're, what you're shooting right because in the gopro i always was I knew where I was shooting, but you never really know because the screen is on the back side. And here you can switch the screen and you, as you said, you can, you can see what you're shooting. Uh, we have actually also used that camera on my helmet on the side. Here are some shots how it looks like when I do tricks on the bike. Okay guys, welcome on board. We have now the wide angle lens on it. And yeah, now you can see how it feels to sit on the bike and do tricks let's go circles Opa. balancing yeah Woo -hoo. already on the seat jump around jump 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 around 
Papa, side stander, Rod Fluey, hanger. Opa, all around on the bike. Let's do a long wheelie. Beautiful day. My next feature is connected to the sound and the recording of the sound. For us it's super important when we do the short clips or the vlogs that we cover and uh, record the sound of the bike which is like a music to our ears and the Insta360 ONE R has the integrated mic which is good up to I would say 20-30 kilometers per hour it has the noise reduction and so on but if you want really really good sound I really suggest you to use a mic adapter which also the guys from Insta360 send us and and it's what is really cool it's really really tiny so it's easy to mount and what we did is uh, we use that adapter and an external microphone and we wrap it under the selfie stick so it's not visible and we always had a really good sound of course yeah and uh, this is what we recommend to everybody okay it's also for vlogging but also if you want to have a crispy really nice sound always use a adapter and an external microphone this will make the footage total next level okay so my next favorite feature is a accessory so and it's a this selfie stick but uh, like you see it's a invisible selfie stick <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can see it here yeah, you, you, you can see it here but he's not... doing again this David Copperfield no, tricks. <laughs> but these are not my magic tricks these are magic tricks from insta360 okay like you saw in the footage you cannot see the selfie stick right but my favorite position is definitely from the side it really looks like somebody's driving riding on another bike next to you and is uh, recording you or shooting you and what is the perfect length like the most optimum half meter half meter okay yeah. why asking him because it, it, when I had a half a meter the stick sticking out of the bike we and I, the left corner was okay but on the right one that was close to destroy the camera so if you sh shoot on the streets be careful also not to hang the camera on the on the sign next to the road or so on and also on the stunt tricks I needed to be really 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 careful to not crash on the right side otherwise the camera is done so it's cool for the shots but it's really yeah dangerous for the camera let's put it that way and your favorite position with the stick i think it is when we put this kind of length next to the sprocket and we put like a really cool transition yeah, yeah from from the back side of the bike into the front that's exactly this what i said right it's a 360 you always can catch and like this movement is really really uh, like surprising it's like whoa what how is this possible so like you saw in the video we put uh, this stick in different positions yeah. all around the bike uh, main thing here we needed was this guy <laughs> <laughs> zip ties this is a really the most important accessory you can buy for always i always say you know what the person then who developed this thing he deserves a, a nobel prize or something <laughs> i don't know a big prize that this saves lives definitely for sure yeah. but guys which was your uh, favorite angle was it on the side on the front of the bike close-ups let us know so we will use that angle even more and play with it because there is still a lot of yeah. possibilities definitely and which action did you like more uh, riding on the street with a super duke it doesn't matter which bike but on the street or did you like more the stunt action let us know in the comments below would help us to create even better footage in the future the last feature that we both we can agree on that we both like that feature is the stabilization that it has my favorite thing is on my GoPro I sometimes I forgot to switch on the stabilization here it always works and you said you were editing the, the, the footage you can switch it on or off in the post-production in the Insta360 ONE R app or uh, on the PC it's always working so it's always smooth or even if you don't like smooth you, you want it a bit shaky and rough so this is this is what I really like on this stabilization and what do you say it's really it's, really good right it's saving lives <laughs> I would say yeah you don't need a, a gimbal or nothing anymore so the camera is just floating in the air guys at Insta360 you did a really uh, good job here yeah so we got some accessories we showed you the selfie stick also the tripod and you can connect the selfie stick with the tripod and just do stuff around the camera what I was super scared is 
Wait, what is that? I see a scratch here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, what is that? Know. Man, it's a brand new camera. I didn't see that we crashed this camera. What happened here? It fell out of the bag. <laughs> Shit happens. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's why we have the lens protection. What he forgot to put on the camera, but uh, yeah, you see the lenses are exposed. They also offer uh, lens protection and it's really cool, you know. Uh, a broken lens is not really a good thing and not a cheap thing, so get yourself also a lens protection, I would say. And also they have for the 360 version, you have this rubber piece. Ah, true. And you just put it like a sleeve. here on when it's in the back and the lenses will not get scratched or anything, so it's a good way to go. So Insta360 comes with already with a standard X with a standard X <laughs> has a fucking Jesus. standard, yeah. <laughs> One week later. <laughs> this is gonna go in the vlog. <laughs> a take five. So another cool thing about the Insta360 camera is it comes with a standard action camera mount. Mm -hmm. So you know we have a lot of GoPro and other accessories and we can all use them here. So Insta360, good job for that. <laughs> Boom! Okay guys, this is our short review of the camera. I hope you liked the footage. Headlands, you did an amazing job once again. He does really epic uh, edits, right? Please guys, give Dominic some thumbs up in the comments below, drop some smileys in, and let's share some love for Headlands. He is like, I finished with writing, but he needs to continue to edit, so he really invests a lot of effort in the vlogs, and thank you, man. Thanks. Um, so guys, if you're looking for a 360 camera, I recommend you to get a spare battery because it's really taking a lot of uh, electricity, a lot of battery life and second battery is always good to have so you don't need to charge while you are filming or in the middle of filming and you can continue going. And you? Um, just my recommendation for Insta360 if would be if you're gonna get your first action camera, maybe don't go for the 360 version of it, go for the normal 4K version. Once you get familiar with the 4K version, Version of the lens then go and buy a 361 that's the way to go yeah okay guys that's all for today uh, we had a lot of fun and thank you insta360 team to give us the opportunity to test the camera we're gonna definitely use it in the coming vlogs we have some more ideas but that's all what we could test in one day and of course we're gonna improve our filming skills for sure your editing skills with the camera because i would say it's not only about filming but it's also how you use that footage for sure because you can do a lot of tricks as you could see in uh, our vlog so that's it for this time, right? Subscribe, bring some friends to our YouTube channel and see you in the next one. Until then, rock on!